Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're making some delicious kettle fried chicken that's absolutely incredible. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, interviews. And other than that, let's get into the cook. All right, so today we're gonna to be making a delicious kettle fried chicken. This is a recipe that is simple to do, doesn't take a lot of time, uh, which means it's great for a weekday cook uh, after work or when you have guests over and you just wanna impress them or just to have some good old fashioned fried style chicken. All right, so to prepare this kettle fried chicken recipe, uh, we're first of all gonna need some chicken. These are chicken quarters that I did split into drums and thighs. And you can use whatever part of the chicken you prefer because end of the day, this recipe is all about that crunchy breading. To mix up our batter, you're gonna need two dishes. We have our wet dish and our dry dish. And we're gonna start uh, by placing one cup of milk into our wet dish, as well as uh, about a tablespoon of vinegar into this as well. And what this is gonna do is gonna help thicken that milk uh, to make it more like a buttermilk consistency. We're gonna let that milk and vinegar uh, sit for about five to 10 minutes uh, just to allow it to thicken up uh, to that buttermilk consistency that we're looking for. And so now let's go ahead and move along to our dry ingredients. We have uh, two cups of flour, we're gonna place that in. And then to that I'm gonna add in about uh, three to four tablespoons of baking powder. And then next, let's add in our seasoning. Today I'm gonna to be using a mixture of kosher salt, uh, black pepper, uh, onion, garlic, uh, paprika, a little bit of chili powder, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna place about two tablespoons of this rub into this mixture, and I'll place all the quantities for this seasoning in the description box below for you. All right, there we go. And so we're gonna go ahead and get this all mixed together really nicely. So with all of our dry ingredients mixed together, let's move back to our wet ingredients. And so to our uh, thickened up milk, we're gonna add in two eggs uh, to this mixture. There's one. Two. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together. And so with our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients all ready to go, we're gonna to start to dunk our chicken and really build that outer layer of flavor. And so to do that, we're gonna be dunking first in the dry and then in our egg wash and then back into the dry ingredients. And the goal is to use one hand only to keep one hand clean. And so we're gonna use some tongs uh, to do that. And we're gonna start with our drumsticks. So let's place that in to our flour mixture. Get a good coating, shake it off a little bit, and then get it into our egg wash. Then again, we're gonna drip some of that egg off. Then we'll place it back in our dry ingredients. And again, we'll just shake that off. And place it back on our tray. And then we'll keep moving on and do the rest. So again, we're gonna go into our dry ingredients. Shake it off. Place it into our egg wash. back into our dry ingredients. And just like that, our chicken is breaded and ready to go. And so let's go ahead and get the Weber kettle set up for cooking around 400 degrees. So to set up our grill today, I filled up an entire chimney basket of unlit briquettes and I got them fully lit. Once they're fully lit, I dump them into the Sloan sear, then I close the lid and let it come up to around 400 degrees. So our grill is sitting around 400 degrees, and so let's go ahead now and place this chicken onto the indirect side of the grill. With our chicken on the grill, I'm also gonna add in a little bit of hickory uh, wood chips, uh, just a couple, just to add a little bit of smoky flavor. Then I'm gonna close the lid and we'll begin cooking this around 400 degrees for about 50 minutes. Our chicken has been cooking for about 20 minutes now and it's not done yet. Uh, we're gonna open up the grill though and we're gonna take a look at it as well as we're gonna spray it uh, with some cooking oil and then flip it. And we're gonna be doing this every 15 minutes until it's crispy, golden, and delicious. Yeah. 
So at first glance, you can see that it's starting to crisp up a little bit. Uh, we have some dry spots here. And so this is where the cooking spray comes in. And we're gonna spray uh, both sides. Flip it over. Ooh, you can hear that it's already crisping up nicely. Give this side a spray. Then I'm gonna close the lid and we'll continue cooking this around 400 degrees and we'll come back again in 15 minutes to flip it one more time. This chicken has been cooking for another 15 minutes and so we're gonna open up the grill and what we're looking for is that golden color is starting to form a little bit more as well as that oil that we sprayed on the outside of this chicken is starting to bubble a little bit. So let's go ahead and open up the grill. So as expected, the color has deepened a bit. Uh, the outside is getting crispy and crunchy just like what we're looking for. And so let's go ahead and give it internal temperature just to see where we're at. 70, 170, 172. We'll quickly flip these over to the other side. So I'm gonna close the lid again. We're gonna continue cooking this for another 10 to 15 minutes until they reach an internal temperature of around 185 to even up to 200 because these are dark meat. Uh, they can handle that higher temperature and we want these to be golden, brown, crispy, and delicious. Our kettle fried chicken has been cooking on the grill for about 50 minutes now. We know it's already fully cooked and so let's open up the grill and check for color and crispiness. Oh, look at this, guys. Got some nice color. It's crispy. It's golden. I think it's time to pull them off to get ready for the taste test. So after only about 50 minutes total cooking time, this kettle fried chicken is all done. It's got amazing color. And guys, the smell that's coming off this chicken right now just smells like a classic fried chicken restaurant. It's so amazing. So before I do go in for the taste test, I wanna show you this skin. And look, look how crispy this is. I take my knife and you can hear that it's perfect. So let's go ahead and have our taste test. Mmm. -hmm. Man, that's unreal. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe how crispy this is. Okay, so that was pretty amazing. It's crunchy. It's got incredible flavor. Um, there's really nothing that can really beat this, in my opinion. Um, let's go ahead and try uh, the drumstick. And let's throw on a little bit of uh, some hot sauces from my buddy's over at M-Box Hot Sauce. And let's place a little bit of that on this drumstick and go for the taste. Mmm. Oh, man. That's phenomenal. Guys, I'm telling you, these are pretty incredible. Uh, they're perfectly cooked. They got great color. They got great crunch. And the flavor from that bit of hickory as well as that seasoning that we put in are coming through really, really nice. I'm telling you, if you've never tried kettle fried chicken like this before, make sure to add it to your list. You will not be disappointed. I need to keep eating this because this is so good. It's golden, it's crispy, it's delicious. This kettle fried chicken is something that you need to try right away. Hey, if you wanna see more barbecue videos just like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.